Hey guys, today I'm installing some new locks, but these are 24 inch new locks. So first I'm starting off by sectioning up my hair. I'm using combo control clips and duck clips. These give me the best hold and control when I'm doing my hair. So in the front, I section off the front and head. In the back, I'm gonna work on all that first. So with this hairstyle this time, I'm gonna just do it freehand. I'm gonna do freehand parting so that the parts look natural. So they're not like too crisp and clean. Um, so I'm gonna be using my hands to part all of my hair. So my hair actually was freshly washed and twisted up with hair butter the night before. So that's why it's curly like this, but that's my stretch hair in quotation marks. So I'm going to be using some 24 inch new locks. So I'm going to start off by plaiting the section of hair. Again, I use my finger to part out that section. Then I'm going to crochet in the new lock into the base of my braid. Then I'm going to um, pull the lock through that loop. And then what I'm going to do is unwind the lock and then rewind it on top of the plait. And I'm going to do that all the way down to the end of my ends. Um, and yeah, it's really easy. The lock really wraps your hair. Well, it really wrapped my hair in. Um, you want to be careful of the size of the plait that you do because if you do a plait too big, then it won't uh, get covered. So towards my ends, I just palm rolled it just to make sure it was sealed in and I was done with lock number one. So I moved on to the next lock and this time I did a twist just to see the difference between a plait and a twist because you know twists are faster so I was trying to see if I can move faster be more efficient. efficient. <laughs> So um, again, I pulled the lock and my twist through the loop, and then I started to wrap my twist with the new lock. And for the most part, the new lock did wrap around my twist. It was a little more tricky trying to get it into the new lock because my twists are so curly. Um, so yeah, it, I guess you would use your preference of a braid or a twist. So I decided to use twists throughout my head and this is actually after using one pack of new locks and you can see they're really long. This is the 24 inch version. Yeah, so now we're up front and I just want you guys to see my parting. I'm only using my hands again to part. These are not clean parts. These are parts to made, made to look natural. And again, I'm using just regular two strand twist just to put in the new locks now i do want to say the two strand twist did look really uh fuzzy or older in quotation marks um like a couple of days later because the twists you know are very soft and loose at the root so my locks did kind of look like they were rising up already so maybe you do want to use plants if you're worried about your roots looking real or not um and if you really don't mind and you want to move faster i would say use two strand twists yeah so uh the new locks they really lasted for a while i still have them i took them out when i took them out um they still look the same so i'm keeping them and i'm going to reuse them for other styles to take care of them at night or to go to bed i just use a silk line lock scarf and i meant to tag it in the last video but i will definitely tag it in this video down below so that you can purchase that stay on scarf that's made for locks braids and twists and it's really helpful i wear it with my locks braids and twists and my natural hairstyles so that scarf is really good because it's it ties on so it stays on yeah so i think i really like this hairstyle i made the parts smaller than usual than how I would normally make my parts because I wanted it to look natural and I wanted my braids well my twists to really be concealed under these new locks um how long did this take me to do I believe it took me about three to four hours to do because of the many parts that I have um 
yeah so I don't have a real pattern going on like I usually would I just hand um hand did the parts yeah so this is the final look this is how they look at the end again look at the roots that's what I'm saying about the twisted roots they look old already but if you do the plaited roots they won't look that old at first there was some weight to these locks so depending on how many locks and how many parts you have in your head that um, will determine the weight of your locks so I wore my hair in this half up hairstyle just using a scrunchie that I got from Claire's. I thought it was cute and this is how I wore my hair for the majority of the week. Thumbs up this video if you loved it. Check out more of my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.